Hello Pistons fans, David Mayo from MLive taking a brief look at small forwards for the Pistons as they progress toward the June 23rd draft. And if you want to make me keel over on draft night, have the Pistons pick a small forward in the first round. That would probably do it. The Pistons have two draft picks this year, number 18 in the first round, number 49 overall in the second round. But their position of deepest long-term stability is small forward. Uh, they have Marcus Morris under contract. He was the starter all of last year for three more years. Uh, Stanley Johnson they picked in the first round last year, uh, number eight overall, and he had a really good rookie year until he got hurt uh, as the Pistons six man. A lot of promise there. Uh, so to come back in a, a second consecutive year and take a small forward in the first round on a guaranteed contract when you liked the last guy you picked uh, would be almost unfathomable really for the Pistons this year. They don't have another position where they're quite as locked down too deep uh, f over the long haul, quite like small forward. The closest thing to it later this summer, presumably, will be center when Andre Drummond signs his long-term contract and uh, the Pistons have two more years of Aaron Baines. But other than that, they don't have a, a position where they know where they're going for a long period of time, quite like small forward. There is some possibility, of course, that the, Pistons, the Pistons, Pistons could go for a, a small forward in the second round at number 49, particularly maybe if... Uh, a couple of the European draft and stash prospects who might fall around that spot would uh, would be interested in staying overseas uh, while the Pistons sort out their wing wing situation. But drafting a small forward who wants to come to camp in October actually could exacerbate the shooting guard glut that we discussed last week when we were looking at shooting guards. Uh, with four shooting guards under contract, the Pistons presumably are looking to move, move one of those guys, either Jody Meeks or Reggie Bullock, uh, if you if you draft a shooting if you draft a small forward even at number 49 who wants to be in camp in October it really forces your hand on that it would give you seven guys at the wing spots uh, under contract for the 2015-16 season if you simply don't fill that third small forward spot it does leave the Pistons a little bit of flexibility to actually keep the four shooting guards under contract sort of call Bullock the de facto third small forward and uh, doesn't put them in a position where they're trading uh, because they, w they just want to dump a body. I don't think they would do that anyway, but it gives them the opportunity to bring all six of these guys to camp and uh, potentially make a move then anytime before next February's trade deadline. Uh, might be the way the Pistons go, and it certainly makes it the position where they are least likely to draft anyone in either round. Uh, which is why this week we didn't focus at all on first-round small forwards. That won't be the case as we move forward the next couple of weeks to power forward and center, positions where the Pistons very well could be looking for players in the June 23rd draft. We'll be back th next week to look at power forwards.